If you want the chance to win the main, the chance to win the mainframe on my car right now, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment your Xbox gamer tag down below for a chance to enter. The giveaway will be announced at 50 subscribers. <laughs> So as I said in the last video, we're going to be trying to sell everything in our inventory for credits or easy to sell items. So here we're selling our Labyrinth and the Sky Blue Arrow Mage, which were extremely hard to sell for a Bubbly. So I believe that's around 1,200 credits for the Bubbly, which hopefully I can sell for that credit value. This guy just wanted a different black market, but since I only had Labyrinth, I decided to sky add Sky Blue Arrow Mages. And he's totally fine with the traits, so I think I'm overpaying by 100 credits with the Sky Blue Arrow Mages. But they are extremely hard to sell, and they pick them up for around 100 credits with um, paying the sky blue animus gp for them so very happy about this trade and we're gonna make tons of profit as we only pick the sky blue arrow mages up for like 100 credits so tons of profit right here so hopping into the next next trade we're gonna be selling our pink emeralds and a thousand credits for a titanium white fennec remember we paid 1750 for these pink emeralds i believe they are 3000 minimum so very happy about this trade as we're only paying 2750 for a titanium white fennec and um yeah so tons of profit around a thousand credits right here so very happy about this trade so when i was buying this item it was at thirteen thousand credits or maybe twelve thousand five hundred we're going to be paying ten thousand credits and since it is rlcs and since cross-platform trading is coming when i'm doing these trades it has already come so the prices are going to be different we're going to be paying ten thousand credits and hopefully we could sell it for around eleven thousand which is still underpay but if someone does want the item they will be willing to pay that value for it so hopefully you can make around a thousand credit profit just from one trade. And we're getting that minimum value for the titanium white fennec of 3,900 credits. I believe the minimum value right now when you guys will be watching this is around 3,700. So it has dropped a little bit, but we're making over a thousand credit profit from those emeralds. So I couldn't be happier and um, let's move on to the next one. So this guy right here wanted some musty stuff. We're going to be selling the crimson sparkles for 500 credits and the hot rocks for 50 credits. Um, just selling everything in our inventory to get more credits. I probably got again probably could have gotten more for them in the long run But happy to get more credits in our inventory to make more profit in the future or just keep them So we'll have enough for the beta nugget And right here we're gonna be selling the black dune racer for I think that's 6,000 credits and the black asceniums which are 6,400 on the spreadsheet so after thinking over it, I believe the black um, dune racer is 2000 or 12,500 sorry um but i saw someone offering um i think it was around 5,000 credits for the black decenniums um so i was going to take this trade and make some easy profit if that guy actually does buy them otherwise i'll just quick sell these as well and still make um our profit back of around 10k yeah so right here this guy's offering us 5,300 credits so we're making that easy 1,300 credit credit profit from um the black dune racer so easy profit right there you guys could maybe still do this just don't pay as much as i did in this video because um the prices will have dropped but you can definitely still make profit off of rlcs items as they haven't completely leveled out with pc prices so this guy's offering us 250 and a non-create import so we're going to be getting that 300 credit value that i was waiting for for the z current and um eventually we can sell the non-credit import for around maybe 70 credits if we're lucky or i could just quick sell for 50 and get more credits but this guy originally said 250 and then the plasma and then he started being annoying offering 200 and then switching back and forth but i did eventually get him to offer that 250 and the plasma for our z current making it around 300 credits right here we're finally selling our purple interstellar for 1960 credits i believe and the reaper gold explosion we're adding items worth of 150 credits just to make it even. So he's offering 2,100 essentially, and we're offering um, 2,100 as well because we're adding to make it even. So happy about this trade, and hopefully we can sell that Reaper Gold Explosion for the minimum value pretty quickly. And right here we're going to be paying 2,200 credits for Grey Emeralds, which is half price, and hopefully we can swap it for a Titanium White Fennec or something of the sorts, making some insane profit. And exactly as I said, we're going to be swapping our Grey Emeralds for the Titanium White Fennec, which is around 4k. So we're making over 1.5k profit from this trade. Um, this is insane. This is the best way to make profit, just in general. Um, he might be able to make profit if he can sell the Emeralds for the minimum value. If not, he'll probably just keep them, because they are pretty cool. But we're making over 1,500 credits from just one trade, if we can sell the Titanium White Fennec for just the minimum value. This is 
just a great way to make profit in general and you guys should try it out and right here we're just going to be quick selling one of our um dominus decals for 10 credits it is painted um so this guy will be making profit but we just need more credits in our inventory so we can buy the beta nugget and right here we're selling our reaper ghost potion for 450 credits i probably couldn't could have gotten around 500 credits in the long run but we're happy to get more credits in our inventory so we can have enough to buy the beta nugget and planning to buy it from 30k to 30.5 so we're just going to get 30.5 and uh just hope for the best after that right here we're going to be getting, getting rid of another item this one's a knock okay, very rare we're going to be selling it for 90 credits and we probably could have gotten 100 in the long run but it's only 10 credits so happy about this trade and yeah this trade's kind of pointless but this guy wanted certified um limiteds and he was offering the other limiteds and some credits but since he already had these certifications for his limiteds i just offered to him for free and he'll be giving us the other rad rocks back um without certifications i didn't really care we'll just be helping him out a little bit as he's probably trying to build like the master set for all the limiteds or something Right now, Bubbly was 1,100 to 1,200 on spreadsheet, so we're going to be selling it for the maximum value of 1,200, getting more credits in our inventory for the Baden Nugget. So, Titanium White Fennec right now is actually pretty hard to sell, but we're going to be getting that 3,780 um, credit value for it, probably. I think it's 3,800 min as it did drop a little bit. So, happy about this trade, and we're only losing around 20 credits if we were to sell it for that minimum value. And I knew eventually I'd be able to sell this Black Animus GP for 1,000 credits. I maybe could have gotten even more as it is discontinued and very rare. Um, lots of people are wanting it, but this guy's going to be giving us 1,000. And that's what we paid for it, so more than happy about this trade because we gave them a really hard to sell item for it, which is around 1,000 credits. Um, so we're going to be selling it for 1,000, just adding more credits in there to our inventory. And right here we're going to be quick selling the rest of our really bad items for um, some credits. Very happy to get rid of all of them as we we'll, don't really need them anymore because we're nearing that 35k mark. So I'll probably just go for the bigger profit trades instead of selling the small stuff and trying to get the minimum value for all of it as it would take a really long time. And I did keep some of the easier to sell items in my inventory just because I knew they'd be more credit value than just 10 and they were going to be pretty easy to sell. So we're going to be selling our non-crate import for 50 credits. I probably could have gotten 70 in the wrong one but it's only 20 credits and since we're going for a bigger trade profit it's okay that it's only 20 credits so we're just having to get more credits and get rid of the smaller items in our inventory and right here we're going to be selling the two non-create very rares for 160 which this guy valued at 80 each so more than happy about this trade because um i couldn't find one or 180 for him or 90 each so just happy to get rid of them for some more credits and right here, this guy's going to be paying 350 credits for our purple sparkle, sparkles, which is that mid value. I would have been happy with 300, but he'll offer us 350, so more than happy about this trade, making some more profit and adding more credits. So this is actually kind of funny. Um, I was going to sell a striker white octane on my other account, but since um, I had a lot of games on it, I just didn't really want to sell it. And this guy other on my other account, he was offering um, 31,000 for it or somewhere around that, um, and this guy had, um, Striker White Octane wanted 30,000, so I'm like, oh, I'll just pick one up on this account, I could sell it for, um, 31 on here and just make some easy profit, um, so I decided to pick it up, and then I believe probably the next trade, we're just gonna be selling it, like, literally instantly for, um, 31 something, and yeah, literally, like, 30 seconds later, I had, I already had this guy in the party, um, we're selling it for 31,300 credits, making that 1,300 credit profit, like, literally instantly from one trade, um, so very happy about this, and we're getting really close to the beta nugget, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough for it now. And right here, we're paying 14,500 credits and a bunch of junk from our inventory for our white octane, I'm pretty sure it's about to drop, but I'm sure I could get someone to underpay for, like, 100 or get that minimum value for it, as it is still the most popular car in the game. So we're going to be paying 14500 and the rest of our um, hard to sell items from our inventory. And hopefully we can make at least 100 credit profit on this trade, um, selling it for 14600 If not, I'll just try to get um, the minimum value for it, making 500 credit profit. And we're going to turn around and sell it for 14800 which is the minimum, or 200 under the minimum value, sorry. The 15000 is the minimum value when I was doing this um, trade. I believe right now it is 14000 um, that's like the max anyone's selling it for right now, even though it's the min on the spreadsheet. Because on PC, the price of White Octane has like crashed, it's around 9k, so it's just going to keep dropping until they meet. Um, but happy to get 14,800 for it, making that easy 300 credit profit, and basically getting rid of everything in our inventory. 
And this is a few days later, I kind of stopped trading on this account. So why Octane did drop. So I'm going to be paying 26,300 um, or 200 or something for it. Um, hopefully I can sell it for like 28k, which is um, 1k under like the minimum value for the striker white Octane. But since it is dropping, people don't really want to pay that. So I'll be picking this one up for 26,000 and a little bit more. And hopefully I can sell that for 28k. If not, I'll probably just sell it back for like 27k or something because it is going to be pretty hard to sell. And like I said, pretty hard to sell. We're going to be selling it for 27,000 credits, um, making that easy around 1,000 credit profit. And I believe that is the last trade of the video. So tomorrow will actually be the finale where we actually buy the beta nugget. And I'm going to explain how much we're buying it for and why I bought it. And that'll be the end of the series next episode. So I'll see you guys then. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your Xbox Gamer tag down below because we are going to um, do the giveaway at 50 subscribers, if you didn't know that from the beginning of the video. But i um, very happy about the trades today as we ended off at like a 35,000 credits pier, which is more than enough to buy the beta nugget because it has no price on Xbox yet. But since um, free to play is like in one or two days when I was recording this video, I could probably get it for around like 30k. Um, otherwise... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video because that is when we are buying the beta nugget. And uh, stay tuned for also my other videos. On the left um, will be the previous episode if you missed that one. And then on the right will be um, the rest of the series if you need to catch up and watch all the episodes. Or if you enjoyed this one, you might like the other ones as well. So stay tuned for tomorrow because that is when we are buying the beta nugget.